Hi, my name is Dr. Jacob Anai, Director of Inpatient Pharmacy, and I will be talking to you about uh, the aftermath of uh, getting accepted to a pharmacy and what you could do to prepare yourself for the different fields within uh, pharmacy and how to prepare yourself for landing one of those dream jobs that you might have. Um, within pharmacy, uh, what a lot of people might not know is that there are different sectors that you could get involved with. Um, pharmacy in the past, the traditional pharmacy has been the retail pharmacy, the dispensing of medication, consulting patients on different medications, and consulting physicians to come up with the right regimen for the patient. Pharmacy has taken uh, many, many different paths and turns along the way, and now there are so many different areas you could get into within pharmacy, from inpatient, which is what I do in a hospital setting, where you're working with your physicians, your nurses, your pharmacy technicians, to manage the patients, where you'll be doing rounds to see your patients, where you are under protocol writing prescriptions for the patients and changing regimens as necessary. You'll be reviewing patient labs and uh, doing a lot more hands-on clinical work. Besides those two, there are many, many, many different specific areas you could get into within the two. So AmCare, ambulatory care pharmacy, is another area that's growing rapidly within different clinics and hospitals where you're managing uh, patients in an outpatient setting meaning the patient is not bedridden in the hospital, but they have a chronic illness, something like diabetes or hyperlipidemia, where a patient needs to be managed over a long period of time or perhaps forever. And in those cases, uh, you will work with, whether it's uh, nurse practitioners, the physician, and so on and so forth, where you will uh, manage the patient over a long period of time, uh, making changes to their drug regimen as needed, having them coming for different screenings and tests when needed, uh, working alongside the physician to deliver the best uh, health care uh, in that aspect. Um, there is the uh, area of um, industry or managed care per se where you could get into, uh, get involved with different pharmaceutical companies to do different types of research, uh, outreach or medical liaison programs that you could get involved with to do the research aspect of pharmacy. And for uh, most cases, I think uh, it would be a great idea for you to make sure that while you're in pharmacy school to do internships that are specific to what you might want to do later or to do uh, specific specialties for different areas you might want to get into later, whether it's becoming a specialty infectious disease pharmacist or uh, getting involved with um, asthma or uh, becoming uh, very involved with diabetes, which is a huge, huge um, area right now for pharmacists to get involved with. Um, there are Coumadin clinics for patients who are suffering from different various uh, cardiovascular issues that need to be managed on certain medications and monitored very closely. Another very important thing uh, that you need to take into consideration while you're in pharmacy school or while you're transitioning between pharmacy school and your job is uh, being involved. Uh, being involved not only in your field of pharmacy but being involved uh, with legislature, being involved with healthcare as a whole. There's a saying that we always uh, use, uh, we used to use at USC School of Pharmacy that you either get involved uh, with politics or you get out of pharmacy. So if you're going to be a pharmacist or any healthcare provider, you really need to be up to date with uh, the politics and uh, different legislature that's out there, how it's going to affect you, what actions you might need to take to protect uh, your career, to protect your field, which is pharmacy, and to protect your patients. Because a lot of these uh, legislature or a lot of these bills or um, laws that might be passed here and there are going to affect directly or indirectly not only you but also your patients. Again, my name is Dr. Jacob Hanai. If you have any specific questions or if you would like consulting with regards to your application, uh, if you would like someone to review your application, your resume, your personal statements and so on, send an email to californiapharmacy at gmail.com and uh, you could also click on the following links in order to learn more about how to get accepted to a pharmacy. Thank you.